week marks one year since the historic floods of October 2015. This wouldn't stop raining, would it? But uh, today also marks another anniversary connected to those floods. News 2's Libba Holland shows you how rain on a wedding day can actually be a good thing. A year ago today, Kelly and Mark McMahon were exchanging vows out here at Boone Hall Plantation. But the day looked much different than it does today. In fact, they had no hope for sunshine on that day. But they say they wouldn't have it any other way. Start from the beginning. How did you guys meet? <laughs> Jeez. Go for it. Okay. Mark and Kelly's relationship seemed to be fate from the beginning. They started as friends at USC. Both ended up in Charleston, so I helped him like pick out his apartment and decorate yeah. it and everything. And little yeah. did she know she was going to be stuck with half the things she picked out. True. Fast forward a few years, and it was time for Kelly to pick out a wedding venue. You go through those gates and you weave around. She chose Boone Hall and stuck with it. I just always had a vision of going down that road on my wedding day. She had it picked out before we got engaged. But her vision changed as soon as the rain started. Two people had to help I me. just said, whatever, let's let's see what happens. I'm sure she had a, a little bit different approach to uh, it. You'd think that you would. But for Kelly, only one thing mattered. Well, everyone that we wanted to be there, our friends and family, everyone that was traveling and from out of town was there, and everybody made it. So that meant dozens of people were in town during this historic flood, and all had to gather here at this outdoor venue near the Cotton Dock. Yeah, so I called Rob Fowler and he told me, he's like, honestly, I'd probably cancel if I were you. And I just, um, I was, that's not what I wanted to hear. So I was like, thank you, but um, we're still going to have this wedding. So you can see in these pictures during high tide, everything drenched. When we showed up, there were people kayaking over top of the Cotton Dock because it was high tide. Luckily, though, the ceremony was several hours later, which gave time for some of the water to recede. There was still a little bit of water there. My veil and my dress was catching a little bit, and it was it got wet pretty quickly. Then look at this sun shining through the clouds, just as the bride and groom said I do. A commitment to stand strong together, especially when it rains. To us, it, it would have taken more than what was it, 36 inches of standing 24. water. <laughs> a lot of water. Yeah. Just, I mean, I don't. It, it was awesome. A neat thing that did come out of this whole event, they're one of the only couples that got to take their wedding photos inside the plantation home. So in the end, she said that she had the wedding that she always dreamed of. In Mount Pleasant, Libba Holland, News 2.